with the nation mourning a string of devastating shootings and security concerns running high ahead of the Cleveland Convention, Donald Trump is casting himself as the candidate of law and order. We must maintain law and order at the highest level or we will cease to have a country. Trump taking to Twitter to frame the race as a choice between law, order and safety or chaos, crime and violence. All while he slams Hillary Clinton as a lawless candidate. Clearly, Hillary Clinton thinks she's above the law. Come November, the American people will show her that she is not above the law. Trump even warning more violence may lie ahead, telling the Associated Press the incidents of the past few weeks might be just the beginning for this summer. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trump continues to spin up speculation about his VP pick. After campaigning with New Jersey Governor Chris Christie on Monday, today he's hitting the trail in Indiana with home state Governor Mike Pence, a man who's already drawing accolades from Washington conservatives still skeptical of Trump. I'm just as anxious as the rest of you are on who, who the VP pick is. I'm familiar with this process. Um, um, I have the highest, highest regard for Mike. He's a personal friend of, of ours and mine. And with just six days until the GOP convention, some Republicans are still publicly airing their grievances with their presumptive nominee. The Nebraska Senator Ben Sass penning an essay encouraging conscience voters rather than those choosing the lesser of two evils. How are you? All as yet another holdout digs in his heels. Ohio Governor John Kasich plans to appear at nearly 20 events around Cleveland next week. But despite an intense lobbying effort from the Trump campaign and RNC officials, a Kasich advisor still pegs the odds of him appearing at the convention somewhere between zilch and zero. Even vice presidential hopeful Newt Gingrich was angling to change Kasich's mind, lobbing a last-minute plea to the Kasich team, asking whether trying to convince the Ohio governor to endorse Trump was a waste of time.